Hello, hello, hello. Uh, I have learned. Uh, I have COVID. <laughs> uh, the yuppie's psycho. Um, yes. No, uh, I have learned how to run a commercial break at the beginning of the stream so that it doesn't interrupt me during the stream, or at least doesn't interrupt me for a while during the stream. Um, so currently there is a, a three minute ad going, uh, and I will like properly get started after it ends. Thumbs up emoji. I'm learning. Thumbs up emoji. I've only been using Twitch for, the, the, oh God, how long? It's been almost two years, I think. It's been almost two years since you sent a very serious text that was like, I'm going to become a public figure soon. If you don't want to be <laughs> friends with a public figure, let, it's okay. Did I send public you that? Figure. Yeah. That sounds like something you would say. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, okay, fine. It was less melodramatic than that and like actually intelligent, but still. Okay, I was like, that that seems like a little more. I know I definitely did, like, I am going to be doing things that are going to be on the internet for eternity if I have any say in the matter. Like, if you want me to not mention you, then, like, say this and I will not mention you. Oh, that's yeah. why I'm hearing three months. What? What? I was hearing three months. Okay. It's a situation I was okay with, but not while streaming. <laughs> I hear, I I hear three moths in a yellow wood. Do you? I'm leaving the VC. No. That's Cribber's bit. What? You can't what? just steal Cribber's bit. What like do you that. mean? Cribber's ad bit? starts in two minutes. No. Hello. Do you have, like, automatic ad rolls? Oh set? god, I might! I will f I will figure this no. out. I'm learning, I'm learning, it's fine, I'm learning. We I can... believe in you, Moth. God damn you it! So? <laughs> I thought You're I figured it out. It's fine, I'm working on it. Aww. Hey guys, I was followed by short-lived sinew. Amazing. Mm. Short-lived sinew? Bot. Yes, it is. <laughs> Some of the porn bots have like, such they definitely... cool names, though. Literally, I got one yesterday that was Dangerous Traitor. Oh, hell what a yeah. Name. I've blocked so many of the greatest names ever, and I'm so sad mm -hmm. about it. I so have... Sad. They've... Porn bots have also started following me on Twitter. Mm. Oh, no. They're less charming there. Oh, no. Mouse says jokes on you. This is just the moth is also stuck in Ad Health stream. <laughs> anyway, see, they're less, uh, they're less appealing on. I, I think it's less appealing on Twitter because Twitter actually kind of allows porn. Caveat there being kind of. Yeah, and like on Twitter, which actually is one of the reasons I'm sad Twitter's going down the toilet, but that's a discussion for another day, um, at a different stream. Um, but the the main thing is like, <laughs> it's charming on it's charming on Tumblr because, like. It's 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 you know all those drawings of like the the the, the many uh, wily, uh, wily robot women trying to entice you with meanwhile just seems kind of sad on Twitter. Yeah. Wait, I Twitter those guys, guys, yeah. guys, guys. I used to redownload Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I I, th I think part of it is the fact that like Twitter is closer to Facebook in how much it ties, like, your real identity in. Like, obviously, you can run a Twitter that's not under your name and have the handle and everything, but it's a little bit more personal, whereas Tumblr, like, there is such a clear delineation to me that when it's these... The robots aren't really pretending to be real people in the same way. They're pretending to be a real blog. Mm, um, yeah, that makes but, sense. But Twitter, it feels a little closer to impersonation. Like, if there were porn bots on Facebook, that would be really fucked up. I'm pretty sure there are mm -hmm. porn bots on Facebook. That is really fucked up. Um, 
but so like Twitter is in that middle ground, and I think that's that's part of it. It also means that when I looked at my blocked list, I can't tell who who I blocked for being a porn bot and who I blocked for being an asshole on someone else's post. Um, and that makes me kind of sad because I I do a lot of I do a lot of preemptive like oh you're a raging anti semite in the notes of this post you're never seeing my shit goodbye mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. stuff like that uh, I've I've got like <laughs> I have at least a thousand block tumblers um, uh, I want to appreciate Sikari said Alexa this is so sad play ads. <laughs> you know what, Sikari, for that jug, I'm going to send you a cicada that I saw on my dash. Guys, I want you to know that the moment I finished that sentence, the ad break and po progress thing popped up. Oh, oh my, my god. god. It's because Twitch knows they'll make so much money off of you. Hell yeah. Rolling well, I hope they fucking appreciate me. No. <laughs> Asking a corporate company to appreciate you. Subscribe to Moth. Subscribe to me. Uh, so true. Subscribe no. to Moth or else. No. No. I already am. I can't subscribe twice. Moth, also subscribe. Subscribe to Moth or I will come to the house. Okay. Do it. I'm also not allowed to gift, gift subs, otherwise I'll be banned. Well, why? You are not allowed. Ask Moth, not me. Okay. Uh, Coda's not allowed to give me any more money besides, like, subscriptions. Okay. Fair or, enough. or I think- I think I also banned him from buying me games on Steam after he tried to use that workaround. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because I bought you Sonic Adventure 2, and then you were like, no, that's not allowed either. <laughs> uh. Alright, everyone who isn't Coda, subscribe to Moth Knife Emoji. Oh. <laughs> the only money I'll I'm try. allowed to give Moth anymore is my recurring subscription to twitch.tv slash knife underscore moth. Huh. Oh wow, I'm also subscribed to knife underscore moth. Let's list the benefits of subscription to knife underscore moth. Oh uh, no! You get a quality entertainer. You don't get ads. Mushroom Alien said, Twitch is somehow still being homophobic to me. It's like, I can't give you ads. I'm going to crash instead. Oh, that's no. cringe. 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 Terrible. Other benefits of um, subscribing to knife underscore moth at twitch.tv, uh, you live longer. Uh, yeah, that's totally legitimate uh, medical advice, yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, and you get more voluminous skin. Ooh. Yes. I mean- Whoa, I, I six can... months in advance? I'm... It's cheaper. <laughs> oh yeah, it's also cheaper right now because there's a September thing going on. That, that is true, but I always I, I always do it for long periods of time in advance because I will forget to renew immediately. So I just Yeah. Um but also I noticed because Mouse in chat said six months of van, what a road trip. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think it's luminous skin. <laughs> Just have, just have long braided skin, like hair. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I, um, will say, I will say, there is not one ugly person who is subscribed to Knife Moth. That's true. That's true. Aww. Cause it's true. Apart from Being Knife Moth. Hey! <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> Everyone is so mean to them all the time. Good. Wow. Um, Okay, so on that note, uh, <laughs> uh, I think I think Kelsey's gonna be along shortly. I don't know if we have August because they sent a message that was ambiguous. Kelsey's here. Oh, oh my God, are you here? Yeah, you hadn't yeah. you had us. You didn't say I, anything, so I didn't notice. Yeah, I tried oh. to say hi, but everyone was talking, so it just kind of went under the radar. No, that's oh. so valid. <laughs> Uh, God, no. That's, that's so valid. Um, but yeah, uh, August sent a message that was ambiguous, so I have no idea if we have August. Uh, let's continue. 
August will be real in 12. August will be real in 12. August was real two days ago, when they ceased Holy being shit. real. Okay, Damn. Now they're back. back to being my friend in my box. A little gay person in your phone. You're all- you're all the little gay people in my phone. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. I'm a gay person in your phone. Uh, you're one of the gay people in my phone. This is news to me. But there's also, like, a bunch of friends in my box. My big, noisy box that glows green and I can play video games on. Ooh. Is this your Xbox? Imagine having a big, uh, noisy box that glows green. No, my Xbox does not, in fact, glow green. It's my computer. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, what were we doing? There was the thing with... No, we did the eighth floor. Yes, we did. Shit, I've forgotten what we were doing. We've checked <laughs> out the bodies, we've done the eighth floor, I actually don't know. Oh no. We still haven't done the thing we're supposed to be doing and going to the fucking graveyard area. Oh my god, the no, graveyard we did that. area. Oh wait, did do we, we actually touch go to the graveyard? I thought we did the whole goblin thing. We didn't actually go to the graveyard yet. Oh, okay, then yeah. Time Beat for the it. ghosty ghoulies. If we can even get in there. I just I know we know. have the power to breathe the gas now. Yes, we do. Yeah. Well, yeah, we did that. We 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 followed we followed through on that. We fixed it. Given y'all watchers a uh, uh, a more realistic experience because I am actively dying of COVID while you watch us watch this man suffer. Oh, congrats! <laughs> I'm just really sick right now. Hey, I love being sick. Everyone yeah. is having such an awful time. This is not allowed on a mod stream. <laughs> 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 Immediately they start dying. <laughs> Listen. We're Imagine dying. No. Imagine no. dragons. <laughs> I'm doing it. Oh god, I forgot about the evil fireflies. That's 24 7, honestly. I'm always thinking about dragons. I'm just rotating dragons in my brain. Okay. See, I was... I'm on oh god. dragon sight. Fly rising? Rising? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I need to get back Okay, to the okay, rising. wait, wait. I I sent a slightly coded message in the chat when we were finishing last time to remember where in the walkthrough I had as a reference. Oh and I just found it. Um Cause we're we just We're just out of the We just had the bell thing. The weird message from Sintra. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Anyway, Vaughn, I would oh, die yeah. for you. <laughs> yes, the bell. The crib is still from me. Um, I am so sorry. You should be. You should be glad okay. I'm even talking to you. Okay. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this does not appear to be a thing with the door on the 8th floor, is what right, I'm being told okay. of. Okay. <laughs> That's uh, fine. We can go back oh, to a different floor. Yeah, it does say make any preparations you need at the canteen. Oh, okay. So, fight time. I think you were a little bit injured. We're yeah, a little bit are. injured. It's fine. There is blood on your face. Don't worry about it's it. It's a horror game. You're always at least a little bit injured. Eat. 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 I fucking like to. Can you eat the flowers? <laughs> It'd be funny. Like, roses are nice. There's that guy who wants you to get him for promotion again. Shout out yeah. to Gordon Ramsay who once ate a dandelion instead of hotel food. And that's so oh valid. If, oh my god. God. Do you know what I want to experience again? Huh? What? One time when I was in Poland, uh, the Bio family bought like an entire big sunflower head like for the purpose of eating sunflower this? seeds out of i talk about it every so often because i think about it every so often but like an entire big sunflower head to just like eat the sunflower seeds directly out of and we like brought it on the bus and everything and this was normal and and 
I, I miss it. Every day I miss it. I mean, that's not true. Not every day. But, like, I miss it a lot, and I really want to experience it again. You're so good. I remember all the time the fact that my mom used to eat clovers. This like, is normal. You know those, like, the little pink flowers that have oh, other those are nice. clovers? Yeah, she would just, yeah. like, pick those and eat them just off, off of the field. They are so nice, though. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, Sakari, the instead comment. Yeah, no, he was eating food at some restaurant, and the food was just so bad that he literally plucked a little dandelion out of the vase and poured some pepper on it and took a little bite oh out of it. God. So valid! Throwback, throwback to the time that the Bio family found out we had garlic mustard in the, like, strip of like wild area right by our driveway when like random people were foraging there huh. Amazing. like that's how, that's how we discovered this the bio dad was like what are you doing here and they were like vegetables <laughs> vegetables <laughs> Faye are you how dead are you are you okay I mostly I have Paxlovid mouth, which is my entire instead of having normal mouth feeling, I just taste sour at all times. Ew. Update: It turns out that this uh, ancient, ancient uh, Flight Rising account dates to when I was obsessed with the book uh, Ve uh, Vellum, and so a bunch of the characters are named after characters oh, and concepts God. in Vellum. That was when we were in school together. Yes, it's that old. It's Man. like eight years old. I should see if I still have the login to my Flight Rising account. Wait. Are we doing this right now? No. Uh, I Everyone got distracted. Log on to Flight Rising. <laughs> I already have the tab open. <laughs> I don't have Flight Rising, and I won't make one out of spite. That's fair. Okay. Probably. That's fair. No one's that's forcing a, you to. That's a valid hill to die on. Oh, I used to be it's so into Flight Rising. Pets. Nobody's forcing you to get it. Okay, I um... Pets, so I don't no. have food, and I can't afford anything. No. Oh, no. So I think we have made all the preparations we can. Oh boy. Okay, um... So, in... In Sintra space, in bad Sintra space that we... That we saw. Um... With the, the flying things. Uh... <laughs> We mm -hmm. we she uh, she was repeating a code. Oh right. Yeah, she was. Which was uh, that the I... code for the um? Was it the ninth floor? Uh, we didn't use the code yet. Remind me the code. Eight five five seven. Eight five five seven. Cool. Bell eight five five seven. Ah shit. I misremembered this as being like a number pad. Exhibition in honor of the devil's blood. God damn it, where uh, else do we have a keypad? Simpler, uh, Bell 8557. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh. I, I think I get, I get it. it. I get it. I don't. I'm not smart today. I there only woke up like. There is a bell on the screen like... right now. There is a bell right oh. there on the screen right now. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Eight five. Okay, five, everyone. Five. It's been a good stream. <laughs> Are you gonna? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I just saw Mushroom Ellion's comment about I was never into Flight Rising, but recently I found the ancient Minecraft world where I built the entire setting of Warrior Cats when I was 11. Um, oh I did that too! I, I'm, I, yes. I'm gonna need a word, world download there. I need, I need to see download. this. Put me in Thunder Clan. Man. I was a Link Clan bitch. Uh, I had for a long time, I don't think I have it anymore, um, but for a long time I had a piece of paper where my childhood best friend and I wrote down 
all of the cats that we could think of that were in the like warrior cats hell whose name i've forgotten uh and what their crimes oh, were and what we thought Our their crimes. sentence should be oh my god <laughs> hell yeah i was normal child activities the dark forest were in hell so I was a very normal child, and I was obsessed with Warrior Cats and House MD. So I wrote a Warrior Cats House MD crossover. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Amazing. How did that work? I love that. Uh, House and I think thirteen were shapeshifters who ran away to become Warrior Cats because they hated being around people. Um, that and is so fucking funny. Oh I hand wrote the majority of it. It is now lost to time. No. Great tragedy Can of the it be ages. Unlocked? Dead silence. I'm, I'm waiting for you to do this code. Well, I was waiting for the the fucking warriors conversation. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Look, sometimes you. Uh, okay, I hit the bell. Code. Eight. Five. Five. Seven. That's just full seven. Yeah, I think did we you did maybe it need wrong. To click, did you maybe need to click the bell three times? Uh, why would we need to click the bell three times? Because it was bell, 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 those. Uh. You're right, I hit the bell, but I didn't remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> okay, eight, five, five, seven. Oh, oh now it's working. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. oh fuck. That Sorry, is I'm different. I'm actually kind of smart. I was working off half complete notes, and the walkthrough doesn't specify. Thanks, walkthrough. Well, we've got you on the <laughs> I you hit the bell and I cool. liked and subscribed. Oh boy! Oh, oh. the ceiling's oh. much lower than normal. What floor am I on? What was the floor from being John Malkovich? I don't know, but now you've given me a, a, like a very visceral sense memory of watching that movie during lock-in at our old high school. Wasn't wasn't it seven and a half? Okay, so this is the seven and a half floor, as far as I'm concerned, until proven otherwise. That's... That's that's fair. Oh my god, it's it's floor nineteen on Wayside. Oh my god, uh, it's floor nineteen Jay. on Wayside. Is Wayside uh, the only good book series? Yes. No. <laughs> yes. There are other good book series. I wouldn't know. I don't read much. Fair. There's a piece of old paper here. Huh. I like this drawing. This is a good drawing. That's yeah. a good bird. It's French shaped. I got an illustration. Not ominous. Okay. So that goes up there. Hang on. I want to make sure that I'm not like. Yeah. Hunter. I feel like the side. Oh. That's all. That's clearly the way forward. Yeah, which is what which is what I wanted to make sure. I wanted to make sure. Hundred credits. Oh, this just straight up ends. Okay. Warrior Cats doesn't have forty five books. It has almost ninety at this point. Do you have a pencil? Jesus, I have Christ. all of them. <laughs> uh, do I have a pencil? No. Oh. Time to go buy a pencil. You are slightly richer Come now. Come hang out with us. We won't explode on you. We promise. Let's see. Pencils were the seventh <laughs> floor. Trustworthy. Do we have to do the code again to get back there? Or no, not Probably. seventh floor. Why? Why did I think seventh? God damn it. Uh, we were on the fifth floor. Literally, it was exactly enough to buy a pencil. Wow. Why the fuck I, I, pencil cost that much? I feel Inflation. like that's intentional to make sure. 
Five, that you four, don't five. get. One, two, three. Well, how much is that credit worth? Oh, so it said Corv, which might be Corvid. 97 Warrior Cats books. Holy Jesus shit. Christ. What? And I have all of them. Um, oh good. God. Hey, I have- I have- so they're for you. <laughs> I have a question. They're written for- Uh, commitment. while yeah. you're looking things up, how many Shannara books are there? Cause that was the other, like- I'm not looking things up, I was counting on my shelf! Oh shit! <laughs> Physical media W. Oh shit! No, that's based as hell. Um, no, because I was gonna say, uh, Shannara was the other super long series that I read in my childhood that was also divided in a similar way, where there were like series and then sequel series and so on and for for so forth. How do you spell that? Uh, S H A N N. I, well, I found it. How many? I'm trying to figure it out. Novels, um, one, two, three, four. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. There are a lot more than eleven. According That's what to, Wikipedia says. No, according okay. to this website, it is forty. Forty, okay. Yeah. Uh, no, Wikipedia is lying to you because there were a lot more than eleven when I was a child and All read right. them. Alright, cool. I, meanwhile, am reading that most uh, important of childhood books. Uh, Detective Pony, the Homestuck fanfic? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm reading a book. Good. So far, it is, it's like real interesting. Uh, it is a uh, sibling tragedy. Ooh. Nice. The door's locked. Uh, There's a device next to it that looks like a card reader. Uh, um, Mushroom Alien, that is Blue Star's Prophecy. Blue Star's Prophecy, Star's Prophecy is Prophecy. actually pretty good. It is. My favorite is Tolstar's Revenge. I don't remember reading that one. I liked the Sky It's the one, one where they're gay. Like, Wait, Corvo active... stands for Corvo. Yeah. I was just making sure there wasn't anything else that was missing. Use the R Corvo ID card. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah, remember Tol which Warrior Cats book was my favorite, but like, I think it, it tells a lot about me that I was a Jolly Feather fan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it tells us. It tells us especially that you're gay. Tolstar yeah. also tells us that you're correct. Tolstar's Revenge is the one that made seventeen-year-old me cry out loud over gay cats. Good. It's a very oh. good book. Was Tolstar the one that had a thing with um, Firestar's father? Yes, that is the part I'm talking about. They are gay. Oh my gee, love wins. They love are, wins. They are everything except explicitly can gay for each other. Like, Toolstar is willing to give up his entire life just to spend the rest of it with Jake. Oh my god. And, oh my god. Spoiler alert, I guess, but when he dies, um, he ignores his entire family and runs straight for Jake for a hug. Oh. In cat in cat heaven, they are literally gay for each other. That oh is extremely god. gay. Oh my god! Like they, at that point, they hadn't seen each other in like over fifteen years, human years, <gasps> and he ignored everyone he's known and loved just to give Jake a hug. Yeah, they, they are gay. They are gay. Sikari says all cats go to gay heaven. This is true. This is true, I, um, except for Tiger Star. But also, except for, uh, except for Cloud Cloudtail, who doesn't believe in gay heaven and therefore isn't allowed to go. <laughs> Ashfur. And Misty. No, not Misty. Mothtail. Moth fucking. Talk moth. moth. Moth, you're not going to gay heaven. Wait, I'm not going to gay heaven. Go to gay heaven. I've Talk forgotten her rust. fucking Moth Flight. Moth Flight. Moth Flight. We are so good at remembering names. I couldn't Moth Flight go to Gay Heaven again? Same reason as Cloudtail, doesn't believe it exists. Oh my god. Is is this how other people feel when we talk about Minecraft? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um I've I've never read a single Warriors Cat book, so I'm just Oh, it's so into it. Like elementary school. Same. 
I could do it's a twenty-four years. hour. I could do a twenty-four hour stream doing nothing but talking about warrior cats. Do it. And if you don't oh shut me up now, this was the, the what this will become. <laughs> okay. Uh, so That's not now, but you should totally do it. Um, I want okay, to say yeah. quick before we go back to the game. Um, because I'm thinking about the Shannara series now. Uh, I don't know if it holds up because it's been a while, but I read every part of it that existed when I was, like, in middle school. Uh, and I was obsessed with it because it seems like a fantasy series, and then later you find out that it's post-apocalyptic. Like, it takes place in, like, the post-apocalyptic Pacific Northwest, I believe. Well, that's um, oh. There was, like, a nuclear apocalypse and everything, but... The nuclear apocalypse didn't, didn't cause the elves. The elves were pre-existing. They were just in hiding, and they came out when the like apocalypse Wait. was gonna happen because they were like, "Hey, this ain't it." Wait, you said that, that was, was called so fucking funny. Shannara. Yeah. I, I, need to, I I've never heard of this. I need to read this. It now. is the first book is like blatantly a Lord of the Rings ripoff, uh, and then after that, the author was like, "Wait." I'm invested in this world now. I'm gonna flesh it out. Uh, and it's oh, so good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know if, like, it, it act I haven't read it in forever. I don't know if the actual writing holds up or whatever, but I was so obsessed with it. Uh, and they made a TV show of it that I think did two seasons. I only saw the first one. Um, and I like the TV show because, like, regardless of how it translated the actual plot points or whatever, regardless of how it translated the characters, it correctly translated the aesthetic of this is post-apocalyptic, but also magic is real. Good. Also, Just like perfectly, that. perfectly nailed that vibe. Uh, and I'm indebted to it. We never talked about this. No? No. I feel like I talked about it. Like when we were in school, whatever. Anyway, time to go back to the game. Yes, sorry. Hmm. This is different. There's a letter. It says, I know you are usually guided by intuition, but at this critical time, I would trust no one but yourself. Remember what I told you about her familiar spirits. Signed, Ian. There's a letter. It says, Great news you tell me, dear friend. Now that we know where she's hiding and we have the dagger in our possession, it's only a matter of time before we can break the seal on the secret entrance. Signed, A.M. There's a gold key hanging on the wall. It has an inscription, Family Cemetery, and an achievement pop to get the key to the graveyard. Oh my god, Septimus Heap! Marshmallion! Oh man, yes. that's a Wait. I, I read I God, I don't I don't remember much because it's been so long, but I remember loving Septimus Heap. Seventh son of the seventh son. Anyone ever read um So you might have heard them as known of them as The Last Apprentice, Spook's Apprentice, or The Wardstone Chronicles. They really couldn't settle on a brand, huh? Uh <laughs> They were the Spooks. They were the Spooks Apprentice in the UK. They weren't that in the US because that's apparently an old racial slur that yes. nobody uses anymore. Yeah. Um, and then they were the Wardstone Chronicles in Australia for reasons I don't know. Um, they, I cannot recommend them because they're kind of bad, but um, they got me obsessed with horror and involved a woman turning. A woman possessing a guy by uh, squirming into a man's brain via his ear. Ooh, that's just animorphs. Yeah, but instead of animorphs, <laughs> a whole woman. Instead of years, a whole woman. The whole just woman? Like a full sized woman? The entire yeah. woman? The entire woman. Damn, oh, okay. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Please get, Please get a drink. That's, that won't help. I'm sorry. I know it won't help, but I'm like sitting here going, my friend is in pain and there's nothing I can do. It's okay. This is helping. Okay. Jesus Christ. Um. I'm gonna ignore that and move on. 
nothing interesting here. There's full on skulls here. What are you talking about? And you like a book. A dead body. What do you mean? After after the day you're having, is that really, like, the rapid desensitization that Brian is having to the weirdness of this company? Is valid, but also very funny. Yeah. Like at this point, a couple of skulls on a thing next to a key, like whatever. Uh. Oh, right. Uh, I don't want to run out of battery. Sign says R. Corvo's office. Oh, I totally missed the sign. Um, yeah, I'm not doing I mean, too hot on battery, but now. that's fine. This is fine. We're fine. Thank you, Cap, for just sending us so much um, tall star Jake art. They are in love. They are. Guys, guess what? Have guess more. what? 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 There's an ad break. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh cool. I will use the ad break to thing. get water. Go. Same. Alright. Oh, you know what? You know what book I got recently? I've been like looking for this book the for Bible. a while. And I... Yes. Definitely the Bible. My Jewish ass definitely got a Bible. I mean, I think that it's really fascinating as like a, a, a historical, cultural document. No, I I do actually own several different religious books for different religions, just because I find it interesting. Oh, good. Fair we're uh, we're we're not exactly shaking hands because I don't actually own a bunch of them, um, but we're shaking hands in spirit. I a lot of my favorite food places are in little cultural hubs and they will give out just paperback versions for free. Nice. So like oh my I god. have a Quran, I have a Bible, I have I forgot the name of it and I can't actually read what it says on the title, so I'm not gonna try Faye. Torah. No. Faye. Uh -huh. Do you remember um, the guy that used to give out the tiny Bibles. Huh? Is Faye here? I don't think Faye's back. Faye is getting water. Oh, well, when Faye's back, I'm gonna bug them about this. Yeah, guys, I sure do love video games. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the book that I got that I've been, like, looking for for a while is, uh, Lost Boy by, uh, Christina Henry. It's a retelling of the Peter Pan story, but from Captain Hook's perspective. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. It is based. It's a. I. It was in the uh, the thriller section of Barnes and Noble that I found this in, because like that basically is what it is. It's like a horror like story version of it, and it's like I've been looking for this for so long, and I'm so excited that I finally found it. Tell me if it's good, because yeah, I've been sale. uh kind of interested in it also. What, it, oh, is Faye back yet? I can't tell. Faye's probably not. Dead. Faye fucking <laughs> died. Live on twitch.tv slash knife underscore moth. <laughs> um... No, because I want to tell a story about the tiny bible, but I can't no, I'm going to regret this. Uh, I don't want to tell it without Faye here to hopefully corroborate, because I can't remember if they were there for it. The cage is open. Oh. Owl. Oh, an owl! Um. Owl. I've seen that owl before. Yes, you have. It swooped over you. I sure did. Yeah, one puzzle run. This tomb must belong to the Sintra family, yeah. although I don't recognize the name. Oh, I don't like that music sting. Let me just make sure there's nothing I should be... Wait, are you... What's happening? Oh, okay, no. No, I thought you were putting candles on them. Because I looked away for a second, but no, it just, you just looked went to the two ones that had candles. Yeah. I'm just making sure. Ooh, and 
It's a fountain filled with stagnant water. We're gonna get mosquito bitten. Mosquitoes are so cute. Like, actually. I, mean, I sent you the mosquito, right? You did, yeah. And I still think they're cute. The door's locked, but there's something under here. I mean, those ones are really cute. Oh, have you got to kill the owl and get its eye? That's oh, kind of what it looks like. That. Yeah, because it's opposite eyes. Uh, oh, hi. Get swooped. Hello, Mr. Owl. Can I have your eye, please? Maybe, maybe we don't have to kill it. Maybe we just ask for its eye. Maybe it... Well, I think you, it... Like, Probably goes between the three. I return. Yeah. No, I think it's oh, no, like it's... that Hi. one. Yeah, I think it's like that one employee where um you have to time your grab. Yeah, I think you're right. Wow. <laughs> Who are we following an owl? Yeah, we're trying to disin out eye it. Uh -huh. Distant retina. Oh, right, right, Faye. Do you remember the guy who used to give out tiny Bibles? Which one? <laughs> like in front of the subway stop. Oh, true. Uh, were you there with for the incident? Which incident? <laughs> uh, so. One of the people we went to school with was given one of those tiny Bibles and went, hmm, I'm going to try something, and went down into the subway entrance and, like, put their subway pass thingy inside the cover of the Bible and announced to everyone that was there something like, uh... Like, he did a whole show of, like, looking for his card and realizing it's not there, and then he announced to everyone that was there, like, the, with the power of Jesus, or something like that, and scanned into the subway with the, the Bible with the card in it. Oh my god. Oh my god. See, knowing our friend group at the time, I assumed what you were going to say is that he put it in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> At our high school, we had these things called Jesus Flowers, which was this lady from like a nearby church that stood on the, at the front of the school, far enough away so that she wouldn't get arrested for like soliciting, uh, and she would just give people like pamphlets mm. of how Jesus loves you and like these really shitty like fake flowers, and they were like they were really even... bad flowers. Couldn't even chill out for real flowers. Wow, she must have not really. No. Jesus. Yeah, Jesus was, and this was always during <sighs> Valentine's Day. Every single Valentine's Day. Gross. Gross. Do you have like bread. I think I saw that I will drink from this water. Maybe you need to set a drink. I don't That's have bread. Um, there is, there was, there is old Jesus man. There is old Jesus man. Does he sell bread? Jesus man is still going. People have interviewed him occasionally, and this is like his entire personality. It's all he does with his life. It's a bit sad, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like we've got to set a trap, but I don't know what to. Maybe Put batteries in the water and fucking electrocute them. No! Sorry. Jesus Christ! Sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> uh, I, I will say just as the, as the, acting as the walkthrough since August isn't here, um, when we have the thing to fulfill the thing with the owl and do something with what's going on, there is going to be sort of a point of no return. 
Ooh. That no. is going to, to cause changes to the building and make certain areas not accessible. Ooh, okay. I see. Uh, but we don't so, have the thing to catch the owl yet? We do not, I don't believe. Looking at the inventory now. Uh, we've also got um, these guys. Oh my god, we have dry noodles. I can go make a noodle thing. Yay. I'm gonna go make noodles while Vaughn figures out where we need to go next. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm being subtle because I... I want to be more, like, asked for assistance when it's needed than leading you through the game so you can figure it out yourself. Uh, give me a hint, give me a hint. for me when I was stuck in Ace Attorney. Uh, yeah. Um, no, you're you're doing great. I am just stupid today. No. Yeah. Be nice just to yourself. Hey! Uh, Everyone is so all... mean to me all the time. I literally told you to be nice to yourself. <laughs> no, like uh, I did I did a bunch of programming stuff yesterday and it You know how your muscles get sore after a workout and like the next day you're like oh god moving hurts? Yeah. Yeah. Every day of my life. That's how my brain feels right now. Uh, aww. Mm. I will say the point of no return is also essentially a split path. I'm not looking ahead, I'm just looking like at where we're at right now. So um, we should thing. So we should explicitly save right before it so that we can go back and do the other path at some point. If that's how you want to do it, uh yes. It's it's at a different place that the split path happens, but I can tell you if you're getting up onto it. I would love that. Okay, what can I have a hint? Where should I be going? Uh, for either path, actually, at this current point. Mm -hmm. uh, though one of them, I'm not sure if things have been triggered to make it happen, but fifth floor would be the place to go. Alright. There's people and places and things that can be interacted with I love places. Explored and acquired. I don't think anyone's in here, but I'm gonna double check. Yeah. I thought there was like some kind of stain on my screen, but it's just the blood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Out of context, that is a little bit disturbing. It's just the blood. Yeah. It's Did just I the tell blood. you guys about what happened yesterday? What happened yesterday? I was just walking down the bloody high street, and then a drop of blood landed on my head. Oh, you did mention that in the... Did oh, I... okay. this okay. is different. Oh, that's blood. Oh, it's glitching! Hell yeah! I, I see we've entered Haven. Yay! <laughs> oh, has, has, has the weird Sintra version, like, partially mer merged into your Sintra version? Maybe. Like Hang on, we can we go back up into that room and have a look? Yeah, at we can go look at the wall. blood again. No, because the wall was. Look at the blood again. The wall. Let's peep the horror. Oh, peep the yeah. horror. Ah. Looks, Looks like, like the statue is bleeding. So Maybe one is evil and horns. one is dead. It's a statue of a woman. So. Statue of a man with horns. He looks like a demon. Great the observation the there, bloody. The witch and the devil, uh, real subtle. Dead Sintra is evil. I mean, the other option here is we can read it as uh, the parents of the person who became Sintra. Yeah, probably. Sikari, I have no idea. I just know that there was blood and it was on my head. And I put my hand up to touch whatever the wet thing was because I thought I got pooped on. And nope, it wasn't. It wasn't poop. It was red. And this my is hand this is blood. where Sintra kicked us out of, right? Should we be yes. checking out the books? 
It's an internal report. Project Corner. Oh my god. Subject does not seem to suffer or remember anything from the procedure. Hang on. Oh, I can go back. Cool. Uh, Project Cornucopia, April 14, 1971. Backup copy updated. Observations. The subject does not seem to suffer or remember anything from the procedure. Future experiments could study whether we could modify one of these copies and integrate one into part of our network. Okay, oh, no. so these are interesting. Okay. Okay, so these are all that. Oh, uh. What's up? Uh, uh, nothing, one sec. <coughs> there are different books <coughs> lying on the floor. Uh, no, Sikari, it, it was blood, trust me. I'm pretty sure blood just got into a fight and then flew over me. But, like, it, it was. <laughs> This machine is checking the books. Man, I was hoping we could get, like, actual information. It's an empty painting. There's a plaque that says the devil's blood. Okay, I don't think there's anything else that we can do here. No. And I'm remembering to take my sunglasses off. And it's still 9am. It's always 9 o'clock somewhere. I forgot about time zones for a second and I was like, it's 2.30? No, the clock <laughs> on the wall in the game. I going. think the hour hand is broken. No, it's just nine. It's like how the Sonic characters have birthdays. <laughs> but the only character who's canonically aged is Rouge the Bat. Yes, thank you, Coda. Really? She mm -hmm. was Wait, 17 why? in Sonic Heroes, and then she was 18 in Shadow the Hedgehog. Wait, Fair that's enough. not that's not nine o'clock, that's three. Oh, you're right. I'm <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Cab. I think we're all having a day. I yeah. Okay. I have always had this issue with clocks. I have, they are mirrored in my head for some reason and it is frustrating. Huh. You're valid. You... I'm I'm sorry, I I just had a moment of being very confused and believing you, but having to check for myself, so I literally googled analog clock. Oh my god. Because <laughs> I couldn't recall in the moment. Oh god, we're in shambles. God, god you're uh, baby. Someone... <laughs> someone... I don't have to take that from you, Faye, because I'm the oldest person here. <laughs> I didn't ask how old you are, you're still baby. We're in shambles, uh, SMP. No. Uh, someone bought me a pocket watch at one point, because I was sad about losing my original pocket watch. Um, and they sent it to me, and it worked fine for, like, a day. And then it stopped working. And oh, I was no. like, well, I, I've already, like, hooked it to my vest and everything. Uh, I guess it's just a fashion piece now. Um, and so it's <laughs> and so it's been there ever since. Uh, it's less a fashion piece and more a stem, honestly. Um, so I'm, I'm glad I kept it. Uh, but at one point, I asked people, like, what is the funniest time to set a broken pocket watch to? And I, I don't remember what it was, and I want to check, actually. 2.30? It might have been 2.30. I don't I think it was, but it might have sells... been. I have a character who sells people pocket watches that stop exactly one hour before they die, so when you said that, my brain automatically went, oh, fuck. Oh, shh. Okay, I've got it. It is about 2.38. Oh, Cap was right. I was just thinking of the dentist. What? <laughs> 2.30. 2.30. 2.30. Oh. <laughs> no, it's 2.38. <laughs> oh. 
Sikari <laughs> says Moth's fairy anti-iron properties. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mm. Oh god, we are employee of the month. Yeah, you, uh you what's are. his face was mad about it. Bye, Hugo. Bye Mushroom Alien, thank you for coming. Bye. It is. Hi, Rostov, right? You. I think that was me? Yeah. Oh, what? hello, darling. How are you doing? How's your first day at work? Well, it could be better. I saw you looked a, a bit lost at the motivational meeting. If you want, I'll give you the details on what's on our floor in no time. <laughs> Living inside the zombies, you've got Sosa and Nappy. They're best friends, uh, but they only talk to each other. I think they're a couple. Because I'm sure this level of social exclusion can't be normal. Anyway, you already know Sosa, Mappy, since you asked, is even worse. Did you notice her face? There's something wrong with that poor girl's skin. Poor thing. And then we got that lizard over there, Malone. I think she's listening to you. Good. She used to be my friend. Well, I'll tell you about it another time. <laughs> Do you remember the vine that's like, remember one time I liked you? No, uh -huh. no, no it never, never happened. happened. <laughs> you try not to get too close to her. There's Cardinal Dumont also. You already have first-hand experience with him. He's a horse. He has delusions of grandeur, but he actually has a minor position. I'd say he's actually beneath us. And Hugo? How else do you ride a horse? <laughs> oh, Hugo, you've named the worst of them all. He's a pig, a jerk, and a prankster with no grace. Hey, you're right. But he's been... <laughs> 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 but he's been with the company the longest, and he was there before I got here. And so, if you have any problems, he's the one who knows the company best, and he's always willing to help. Look at this. I was having trouble sleeping, and he would give me these pills. A miracle cure. Huh. He drugged wow, you. Wow, those are... <laughs> <laughs> he gave me chloroform. And I wow, those are really bags under your eyes. Do you want the pills? Normal things to say at a normal business place. Uh, I... I'd say yes. Yes, we can the feed owl. them to the owl, yeah. Alright, thanks. They could come in handy, although I usually sleep like a log. Here, you, here, go on. You don't know what it's like to actually sleep until you try them. Ominous things to say. <laughs> Truly. Speaking of Hugo, by the way, it's his birthday, and we're throwing a surprise party in the canteen, in the canteen later, later. Sorry. Later. No, it's okay. I read best. Oh well, maybe I'll drop by. I'll see if I have time. What? He's your office mate. You have to go, and more importantly, you have to help us prepare everything. You can't run away, honey. You've been warned. Oh boy. Oh. I, I love to I'll remember, take. this has just been all- this has been just one very long day. Yep. Yeah. The longest day in the entire world. Uh, so fun fact. Uh, for some reason, on the walkthrough, her name is listed as Vostov, not Rostov. Huh. Huh. Even when it's correct other places, which made me wonder if it was a second character. <laughs> <laughs> But specifically when talking about the sleeping pills, it mentions Vostov. Weird. Huh. Wild. Like once or multiple times or Mul yeah. at, at least at least twice.
Maybe if I dilute some of these insomnia pills. And she is never going to have a good night's sleep ever again. Did I put them in the water? Yep. Okay. Yes, you did. There was an animation. All of them in the water. They are all gone. They're all gone. Five pills. Sorry, Owl. He's sleeping like a log. Now that I see it up close, one of its eyes looks like glass. Shall I take it out? Rip. Rip. Hunter. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Owl. It was a glass see, eye. It's, it's like it hurt. We yeah, but like, there's there's a structural him. thing. You you want to have something there to, so that like, it's a structural thing. And if someone cared enough to put a fucking ruby in its eye, someone will care enough to come back and put another one in. Okay, it so the walkthrough isn't very specific about it, but basically at some point in like the next three things we are about to do is the point of no return on this route. Okay. We yeah. haven't done all that much. I think I'm comfortable going with from where we started this stream. Okay. Mouse says, Moth, I'm gonna level with you. You should probably feel worse about drugging the owl and stealing its eye in general than you feel about leaving a gap. Just put a rock in there. <laughs> like, okay, I feel bad about drugging the owl and stealing its eye, but also I feel bad about leaving a gap because people were saying, like, oh, it's fine, it's a glass eye, but, like, no. Th there there's a structural reason to have a fake eye. See, I know that, but I also know... Someone's gonna put another one in there. Well, you don't know how long ago that I was put in there. It's very clean, I'm just saying. Oh god. How do I time. pronounce this? It depends what language it's from, honestly. Oh god! <laughs> oh jeez, that, that is- hold on, I'm going- I'm gonna- I, I think my Portuguese friend is asleep right now. No. Or not Portuguese, Brazilian, whatever, Brazilian Portuguese, or Brazilian Portuguese. Hold on, I, I, I know I got a pronunciation from them, like, a while ago. Hold on. It would probably be something like Joel. Yeah. It's R. St on a standard level, it's R. It can also be used as a diphthong I. And it can also be used as I and Owl and Owl. So, so like, it's up to you. Zhao? No, Yao. Yeah. Zhao. Yeah. Uh, Joao Sintra, 1918 to 1972. Hey, that's the year okay, that yeah, it, it is like a. It is like Shoe. a. Uh, on. Shu. Uh, right, yeah. Uh, Shu Yang, 1924 to 1982. What year is it? Right now? Yeah. In the game. For sure. Mm -hmm. There was a whole thing. Hang on. Can I go here without. 1970. 1972 in the Mysterious Save. Yeah. 1972 in the Mysterious Save. Yep, which is the year that guy died. Wait, can we check the date that guy died? No, it's just the year, never mind. Yeah, it's just the- it's just the year. Um, and then this is saying died in 1982. Hmm. To the love of our life, Ray Sintra, 1961 to 1972. Well, there I don't- believe Sorry? Sorry, I believe the game is meant to take place at some point in the 90s. Okay. Well, there don't seem to be uh -huh. any leads around here. Alright then. Although, I could try to move the tomb lid. Oh my goodness. What am I thinking? Desecrating graves on my first day at work? Do, 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 do I open the tomb? <laughs> this feels like the point of no return. Just for future. Yeah. This feels I would like. do it. Alright, I want to examine this first. Aww. Aww, it's Sintra. 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 Sint
Whose mouse can I hear? Yeah, someone's Probably clicking. Probably Someone? Mine. Someone's I'm multitasking. Good. I'm multitasking! It's loud! <laughs> Cry about it! No, you! <laughs> You're the one complaining Man. about it! It's loud and you're having to, a very pivotal have, moment! I have a confession oh, to make. Uh. Uh, so I used to have, like, wake up screaming nightmares, uh, and when I was li living with Siebs, uh, what I do. There's an ad break. Cool. Uh, I will tell this anecdote <laughs> while we wait for the ad break. Um, Jesus Christ, these things are coming so often. I feel like it's more often than when I did the. the, the than before I tried the thing. Anyway, um, uh, what I do when I was living with Siebs and I was having these nightmares is when I woke up, which was usually after Siebs was awake, I'd go and sleep in his bed while he worked. And Siebs has like these really loud mechanical keyboards. Uh, so like loud typing feels comforting and safe to me. Mm -hmm. Aww. Uh, so like I noticed the typing and it just like did not parse to me as a possible problem. Because loud typing feels comforting and safe to me. Aww. It's just Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It is. But yeah, no, Siebs yeah, uh, is good. Siebs, there's a video floating around Tumblr of Siebs' cat purring really loudly uh, because she does that. There's something, like, fucked up with her uh, larynx, and it's not, like, bad, but it lets her purr really, really loudly. Um, and there's a video of her purring really loudly going around Tumblr, and every so often there's comments like, shout out to the person beating the shit out of a keyboard in the background. <laughs> Boombox. Oh, no. Alright, ad break ended. Uh, shout out to Siebs and shout out to Siebs' cat. Yes. I'll open it just a little bit so I can have a look around and then close it. Uh... Oh, oh <laughs> no. New sprite. I don't think oh. we've seen that sprite before. Aww. Oh, you're right. Hey, man. No body? Something's shining down here. Oh, Would no. they belong to the child? I think I should go back to my office as soon as possible and tell Sintra what's going on. Why is my office red? Um, my office. My office. My office. Listen, the the my lid is lighter than it looks like. Like once you move it a little bit, it just kind of flies the rest of the way. I mean, yeah, it is. They um, they're made to be kind of light. Oh, I was just making shit up. I didn't know that was the actual reason. Oh no, they are actually made to be light because like say if it's just some guy doing his job and nobody comes to the funeral that is one guy having to move the lid mm. oh uh -oh. <laughs> oh no pastor knack what a coincidence i was just going to the canteen we need to lend a hand with the birthday preparations what birthday Hugo's birthday. I literally just talked about it. Five. Listen, seconds. I've been having a really, really weird day. Oh, and sorry, but I can't. I have to get to my office. But everyone's in the canteen. Aren't you going to help? I can't. I have to get back to the office as soon as possible. What's your hurry? Even that new, cute new girl from the hive is there. Kate. I don't know her name, honey, but she's been asking about you. But if you're so busy... Well, okay. I'll be right over. But just for a little while. It's a trap. It is a trap. Look who I brought in to help! It's the parsnip himself. Thanks. I guess we make the rounds? Aren't you supposed to be helping? Okay. I think I also voice her because nobody yes, else do. wants to. 
Is that around his neck? I think so, yeah. Yeah. I think cool. so. Cool. Are you ready to go? Huh? You're about to taste me. Uh, see you later. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I hated okay. that. <laughs> Goodbye. Zero out of ten interaction would not do again. <laughs> Hi, Kate. Are you feeling better now? Uh, yes, I'm quite recovered. Thank you. What are you doing here? Did you get tangled up in it too? I came to see if we were having that coffee I owed you, and they told me about Hugo's birthday. The coffee, right! I'd forgotten all about it! Well, now we can have it with a little cake. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. I should be in my office. Besides, I don't particularly like Hugo, to be honest. Don't be like that, Brian. Remember that partnership is very important in a company, especially when it's your office mate. Besides, it's always good to work as a team, don't you think? If uh, you say so. I'm washing some glasses. I'll let you know when I'm done with them so you can help me set the table. Of course. Are you invited to the birthday party too? I'd forgotten what voice I did. It was like posh Dirt. Eaton College type twink, wasn't it? Yeah. Pompous is this supposed yeah. to be a party? But why are people working? Where's the booze? And the drugs? The party hasn't started yet. We're preparing it. You know, before you celebrate, you have to work to get everything ready. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I'm going to devote my efforts into flirting with that sexy <laughs> rat. She's been staring. No! No! <laughs> no! Dubious Did you know decision. I'm bisexual? Did you know I'm bisexual, by the way? <laughs> Holy shit, he's bisexual! I didn't know that! <laughs> How brazen! He could disappoint Malone? twice as much. I don't know if... You don't know if what? You're absolutely right. Go for it. I will. I don't need your permission, hick. Thanks. You could join us, though. No. No. Hi, we saw you from across the uh, company party. <laughs> we like your vibe. <laughs> no, we think your vibe is ransom and we're better than you. Join us. <laughs> <laughs> you'll you'll make the, be be us. the rest of us look better by comparison. What can I do to help? I'm blowing up some balloons. Give me a second, maybe you can put them up. Cool, okay. Let me finish talking to people. Oh well, god, August isn't here! Oh no! no. Well, it's time for everybody's favorite understudy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing so much voice action work this this stream. Yes. And we love good. you. Thank you. Very good. This is to make up for uh, 999 me being barely <laughs> able to talk. Yeah. <laughs> Pastor Neck, have you been kidnapped as well? Yeah, but I can't stay for the birthday. I have to go to the office. What? Why? Oh, oh, you've got some new information about- Exactly. Oh, tell me, tell me. It turns out that the Sintra family had a daughter, Ray Sintra. Could you guys hear that okay? Yeah. 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 Cool, good, good, good. Uh, the name sounds familiar. That girl died, didn't she? That's a good question. I've just been in the family mausoleum and her grave is empty. I think she's the key to figuring this all out. Desecrating graves during working hours. Fine, you're my hero. <laughs> you can count on me. How can I help you? I need to get back to the office. Maybe if you could distract Rostov. Mm, I'll think of something. Spy stuff. In the meantime, you should pretend like we're still working. Is there anyone there else? Stuff. Oh. Pastor Nak, I'm done blowing up the balloons. Can you put them up? Of course. No, my arms are too short. Your arms I'll put are too them down short. For you. <laughs> Place some of the pink pedestals you see around the canteen. So, here's the issue. Um, unless Rostov has helium in her lungs, those things are not gonna stay up. <laughs> I, no, I, I, something tells me she does. Something tells me she does. She's built different. Running out. 
Yes, we Grab do. Grab it really slowly. She she tried to eat us earlier in the elevator. I think she can uh, do what she wants with her. Yeah, she's she's built different. <laughs> oh no, I I thought I th I was gonna say she just does helium like recreationally. Yeah, why do you think her why do you think her hair is so tall? <laughs> oh, I didn't know that's what helium air. did, but good good to know. It's all that hot air. Hee hee hoo hoo. Good talk. <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't moving for a sec. Understandable. Oh, oh, oops, oh no. Oh, my Why hand being so shifted weird? over a key. Are you alright, dear? I completely forgot. I only left a present in my office. But they're all there on the table. Uh, this is a special gift which I bought on my own. You gotta go get it quick. Ah. Uh, I need help getting it down because it weighs uh, 400 pounds. Uh huh. Uh, Mr. Pasternak, uh, perhaps you could help me since you have so many muscles. Yeah, sure, no problem. Wait, I better go with you. Pastor Max busy with balloons. No. Oh no! Uh, now that I remember, that gift doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> she tried. Doing her best. Bless her heart. She's her curse her life. Life. She's doing. She put her confetti on the floor. Me? She's pretending to work. And she's based for it. I'm done with the glasses. Can somebody set them out? I'm coming. That's just on you. You volunteered yourself for that work. I mean, what else are we gonna do? Put them on a big table while I'm doing the dishes. Thank you. Uh, this is the big table, That's a right? Lot of bread. Is that the big no, table? Or the one there's one to the wedding. Below the hug. Below the hug? Oh, here, okay. <laughs> the Hugo <laughs> sign that Toast is standing in front of the O. Oh, wow. Ah, telekinesis. Don't worry about it. I'm not. I'm done doing the dishes, Brian. I'm coming. Brian, is that your first name, Pastor Mac? Uh, yes. First names are always used in the suburbs. Mine's Irina. Oh, that's Irina. How beautiful! Cap, I'm Russian. Yeah, Cap, you don't, 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 <laughs> don't anglicize I'm... it. <laughs> no, I'm not anglicizing it, I'm Irishizing it. My aunt is called Irina. Okay, that's fair. Two different languages are Okay, that's me. that's fair, but I'm pretty sure Rostov is like Slavic. Shut up. Yeah. Irish never appears <laughs> anywhere. Leave me alone. No. No, you're so valid. Uh sorry, Kelsey, did you read the line? Uh yeah. Alright. Um, I'm Catherine Hicks, but you can call me Kate. Marta Sosa. Oh. I'm Jenna, and I'm a Sagittarius. <laughs> and what's this? Rural life? What's your name, Chapman? Anthony. Like my father. Oh god, he's In Anthony the family, Chapman. The they still call me Tony Jr. Well, I'm... Oh. <laughs> oh. Alright, that's enough talk. Hugo's coming and we haven't finished setting up yet. I was going to say that I'm Larry Pokemon, but sure. <laughs> 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 
I can't believe Larry Pokemon is originally from the hit game Yuppie Psycho. Real and true. <laughs> Real and true. What else are we supposed to be doing? <coughs> oh, it's dying go clock. It is dying a clock. Oh, oh. I love her, like, withering look here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and, and the sweet food with candles on top. The cake? That's it. That's it. There's so much about cakes, Pastor Nag. You could go get one, couldn't you? There's no need for that. Everything's under control now. Oh, no. So I don't sorry. know why we're in such a hurry. Why? Well, me neither. Like, this is our first day. It's fine. We can take 15 minutes to do a party or something. We'll have to make the cheese sandwiches. Uh, Pastor Nat, come over here and I'll show you. Okay. Uh -huh. Does it matter who I go to first here? Uh, as far as I can see, no. Speak with everyone at the party is the current stage we're at. Okay. Uh, okay. Mouse says, my favorite Larry joke is he's just a guy who got isekai but still ended up working a 9-to-5 in the new fantasy world. Uh, my favorite yeah. Larry joke is that Larry Pokemon and Larry Ace Attorney got swapped at birth. Yeah. Oh my god. Which is something I could absolutely believe. You're right, though. Yeah, I- it is a hundred percent in my, like, world belief. I forgot the word. Worldview? Worldview. You've incorporated it into your worldview? Yeah. Have you thought of anything? And now that I've played a- Now that I've played a little bit of Ace Attorney, I now know Larry, and he's like a pathetic little wet dog. He is like a pathetic exactly. little wet dog. He, did you Pokemon. know he tried to become bisexual? I know, I heard. <laughs> he's, I think, the only canonical heterosexual in the Ace Attorney universe, because it's confirmed that- What is he trying to become bisexual? Because he confirmed that he, he tried to become attracted to guys and he couldn't do it. Oh no! So we have confirmation that he's heterosexual. He's valid, question mark? This is a world where homosexuality is the norm. Specifically, uh, sorry, homosexual lawyer rivalries, obviously. Yeah, this is normal. <laughs> this is normal. Again, we're in this situation, and our greatest enemy here is Rasta. I'm going to use my social skills to distract her so you can escape. I have a plus 15 for charisma. No, you don't. I love you dearly, but you do not. That's a good idea. Oh, it says Hugo. <laughs> Sikari says he explored his sexuality and unlocked Hat Plus. <laughs> Dear friend and colleague, Rasta. I love- I hear you love eating things. Who told you that? Do they call me a glutton? No, 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 I mean, uh, the, the, at the company, your food is famous for being mouth-wateringly delicious. Yeah, could you write me the recipe over there for the chicken with fish? Of course! It's because I use traditional recipes. Uh, come over here and I'll give you some advice. You're clearly not eating, right? It's my chance. Aw, oh, I didn't get to make cheese sandwiches. You'll come back and make cheese sandwiches. Come on, come on, get down here now! Oh, I'm sorry. Who the fuck is this? New person? New person. Uh, let's, yeah, let's, I was gonna say, let's give him to Vaughn. Yeah. Sure. Nice. Hello, everyone. I hope I'm not too late. Perfect. 
The cake! You've come at the perfect time, Spader. Oh, I thought that was her table. dress. <laughs> That's a guy. I also thought... <laughs> I, and I can't wear a dress if I want to that happens to look like a cake. <laughs> <laughs> or you can wear a cake that happens to look like a dress. I'm what Hugo wants for his birthday. Oh, God! Oh. Gross. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ah, yes. Thank Mac you for the cake. I'm keeping an eye on you. Uh-huh. What's still pink's eye with? That is the deepest V-neck. Don't worry about uh, it. What can I help you with? We have to make the cheese sandwiches and the punch. There's almost no time left. You could be here any minute. I think he's in the walls. <laughs> He's probably up in the hive killing more people. Having a great time. Then let's get to work. No, I was saying I think I like I think he's in the walls w watching and waiting for us to be like almost ready. Like if we had 10 more seconds, we would be ready and then he's going to come in. Yeah. I think that's the kind of like fucked up he is. Hey, I also want to help. Is it because you saw a rich twink? Exactly. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Mr. Spader. My name is Chapman. I'm Tony Chapman's son. I don't know if... Uh... Nice to meet you. Well, how about we get organized and start making the punch and sandwiches? Did this spread change sides? He, he, he turned away. He turned, he turned away from Chapman. Hey, kiddo, I'm sorry I don't know your name. Can you give us a hand? Me? Of course he's talking to you. Move your stinky ass and work a little, you lazy bastard. You do not know the day I've had. Norman, please. There's no need for that language. We're all partners here. You're right, of course, yes. My sincerest apologies, Pastor. Yes, you look very sincere. I'm very sincere. I am extremely sincere about everything I am saying and have never been less sincere. How about I make the punch and you two take care of the sandwiches? What a great idea. Okay, so I'm clearly some sort of higher up. <laughs> hey, dear fellow. Would why is the punch green? Don't worry about it. I was about to ask. Why it's, is there flakes looks, in it? Looks like salad. It does look like salad. Melon soda punch. It's green apple. <laughs> it's Mountain Dew. It's, you know those like those jellos with they, stuff inside. Oh my god! Do. I have <laughs> a they, very specific memory of green jello. There was a fruit <laughs> punch Mountain Dew at one point. I don't know if it's still around. Really? I, have a, I have a gift yeah. for this. Uh, this just puts me in mind of seventh yeah, grade hi, science. Yeah, hello, local Mountain Dew connoisseur here. Sikari <laughs> says, Cap, the... "How was this a gift for this situation?" <laughs> Charlie, it's Charlie's typesicle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's wiggly like yellow. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for not understanding that, that was Charlie Slimesicle from, uh, no facial details. Okay, that's a better one. <laughs> Alright. Hey, dear fellow, would you mind telling Charlie me how to make a sandwich? Uh, also, Sikari says, the punch is lime and has fruits in it. It's fine. It's fine. You put the ingredients in and hit the button. And where are the ingredients? The cheese is in the fridge and... Oh, I'm sorry, hold on. My, one second. The cheese is in the fridge. And the bread is on one of the... Tables. Thank you. I'm waiting, partner. <sighs> I hate this guy. Toodaloo. <laughs> I was wondering why there was bread on the table. <laughs> I say we take the sandwiches and run. Me, honestly, me too. You think you need them? Here are the ingredients. Perfect. Watch a chef at work. He's gonna fucking burn them. Okay. Even Kate's face is like, whoa. Ready! Here they are. Don't they just smell 
delicious. Yup. <laughs> They're all burned. And it's my personal touch. <sighs> Besides, they're not black, they're just kind of slightly scorched. Yeah, they are, they are really just slightly scorched. I think that's a normal cheese sandwich. Put them on the table, quick. Hugo is about to arrive. Goodbye. Mostly the charring seems to be the only seasoning, so... Yeah, it's like grilled cheese. It's literally sandwich. just cheese and bread. You don't put anything else I on your I think cheese on bread is a band. No? Not even like a seasoning mix. No, it's cheese and bread. What else do you need? <laughs> well, yeah, but you could make it more. With, I used like, to two put. To work. I used to put oregano on cheese and bread. I'm I'm citing just normal cheese and bread. It's, it's normal cheese and bread, you, and you make it uh, whatever. I lived on cheese and bread Use... for a depressingly long time. Okay, hear me out. Use unsalted cheese and then use garlic salt. Ooh, you have a point. Basically, garlic bread toasty. Mouse says, pull for the call. What is the worst single item to have in a sandwich? We're talking two slices of bog standard bread, and the only the one thing is, the and the only thing in between them is the one thing. Courgette. Cool Sorry, one of you needs to say it first, and the other needs to say it second. Tomato. Okay. Tomato. Tomato's gross. Bad texture. Yeah. I like tomato. I They're good tomatoes. with other things, but not alone. Uh, uh, courgette, which I believe Americans call zucchini. Oh yeah, God. I might be allergic to zucchini. The single oh, worst yes, thing, me. in my opinion, to have in a sandwich is mayonnaise. You're not mayonnaise wrong. Mayonnaise is fine. Fun you gotta use it in moderation, but it's zucchini. fine. No, the, mayonnaise the courgette... is fine, but this is the only thing going between the bread. Sorry, Bay. The the, Am the, I the, the, the the no, I think you understood. It just it's, I think we're all in shambles today. Courgette is French, and it got to the English oh. via French people, and uh, zucchini is American, and zucchini only showed up in the in the Americas in the twenties via Italian immigrants. I think oh, the well worst then. only thing to be in a sandwich would have to be something dry. Oh, well then, I'm changing my answer from mayonnaise to ketchup. Oh, yeah. I'm Ugh. changing my answer to bread. <laughs> I think <laughs> things that people would actually put in a sandwich or, like, anything. I mean, isn't toast I'm... sandwich a thing? Toast sandwich is it a is. thing. All right. No, I'm I'm talking real thing. My mom loves, um, courgette sandwiches. Like, grab courgette and put it in. Sandwich. The bio mom used to make uh, zucchini bread, um, but it was always like soggy in the middle, uh, oh. and so I, I have like an automatic reaction of like pseudo nausea when someone mentions zucchinis because I think of that texture. Yeah, yeah. Oh oh oh! It's almost time. It's turn off the lights. I thought it was your actual reaction for a second at remembering that you had to speak. <laughs> Come on, COVID. <laughs> Did Faye die? Come on, Blender Boy. I think Faye died. Oh no. Oh no. Sorry, I'm alive. I'm alive. Okay, Guys, good. Is anyone here? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. What? Thank you guys, you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this party started for the sick bastard. <laughs> Coughing all over all of you. This cake is so good. Have you tried it? Tap into the punch. Uh, hey, Rostov, I've really got to go Oops. now. Do whatever you want. I've already helped and I've stayed long enough. I think I can go now. No? You don't have to explain anything to me, dear. Do you want to stand up your office mate? <sighs> oh, the punch is spilled all over the table. Oh, yes. Doshi? Doshi! 
Doshi. Doshi. Doshi, Doshi, Doshi. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Doshi, Doshi, Doshi. Doshi. Turn off the lights and get ready to reach Nirvana. What? What? Someone's just at the lights waiting for the line. I have some questions. The blood really just adds to this. God, it really does. It does. Oh, He's the entertainment! Oh, oh my god! Yes! <laughs> Okay, Doshi. It's time to sneak out. You oh god, and there's out. an ad break! <laughs> oh no! You can use the ad break to sit and watch the show. <laughs> Hell That's yeah. That's true. Also, you should totally take some of the cake. Something tells me it's a healing item. <coughs> yeah, I'll try to take some cake. Oh, he took his shirt off! Oh. Oh my oh, god, no he has cake. top surgery. I'm failing to take cake. Yo, cake is Kenny's getting crunk. Like that is Kate, right? No. Yeah, I think yeah. Kate, Kate is yeah. fucked up white girl. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, on the yeah. <laughs> yeah, over here. That is Kate, yeah. I love that Malone is still drinking wine. <laughs> Cause the glass is red. And good for her. Damn, she I don't like that. Sweet rave party, man. I like the like little guy who is looking at um, what's his name, Hugo, instead of the uh, light show directly to his left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's oh, talking to the realized, birthday boy. I just realized Chapman actually came up from Riz. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Go off, I guess. Chapman actually what? Yeah, All right, whatever. Uh, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, really good. Your coworkers are very funny, and I think I'm getting my punch on. It's really good, actually. I've already had two glasses. Oh God, we have to do the next bit drunk. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, Brian. I wanted to apologize again for standing you up earlier. I know this first work experience may not be as great as we thought it would be. And you're right, it would be best to quit and go to another company, but I just can't stand the thought of giving up at the first hurdle. It's alright. I understand perfectly. Don't cast fallacy. Nope. Don't do it. Brian, it's not right. You've been great to me, and you only just met me. That's not the norm in the big city. Nowadays, it's very difficult to find someone who doesn't only think of themselves. You've also helped me. No way, I've only brought you trouble. I'm telling you, I'm serious. Without your stealth techniques, I wouldn't have lasted long. And the truth is that whenever I give you a hand, I end up solving problems with my own work. Really? By the way, you never told me what your job at the company is. Don't you have anything I can help you do with? What? Yeah, it's just help you with. Help you? What? Uh, I just help you with. You okay, anticipated what the next word was going to be, and you guessed wrong, and then you read the next word and got <laughs> confused because it no longer is grammatical. Uh, it's a relatable thing to do. Well, I don't do much typical office work, you know? And I can't help you with anything? Well, well there's one thing I have to do. Uh, forget it, it's silly. No, tell me, tell me. Remember that madman? The the horse with the madman? The horse with the translator? The madman that's the horse and it has a translator? Okay. You, you know what I mean. Horse? Remember the horse? <laughs> I'm so glad we're keeping this bit. It's a good bit. It's a good it's bit. bit. Get it into us. <laughs> it's a solid 8.5 out of 10 bit. Yeah, sure. He's some kind of motivational consultant. At the last meeting, he ordered me to make a friend. Oh, that's nice. It is very important in the first days of work to be open to other colleagues. Right. 
So, what's the problem? Have you found your new friend yet? I was wondering if maybe you'd like to... What's that? Uh, to be your friend? Yeah, yeah, well, well, don't feel obligated. Oh, don't be silly. Of course I'm your friend. Oh, what? Oh. Oh. Friend. Aww. Sure. Sure is friend. This, this, this is a French thing. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, he's friend. His friend is red too. <laughs> I'm gonna drink a little more of this punch. Uh, freshen up. Uh, <laughs> he chugs the glass. <laughs> Don't drink it all at once. Too much alcohol can make you sick. What do you mean? Oh, oh no. Since when does punch have alcohol in it? Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, our vision's getting faded oh, and having no. blurry too. Oh, that's so Brian, good. If you don't mind, I think I'll go get some fresh air for a bit to clear my head. I'll go with you. I saw a rooftop on the building map. I'm sure there's fresh air there. Uh, Alright, I hear that there's an extraordinary view from there. Hey, no, Pasternak! I want to talk to you. He's drunk! Wait, so okay, I'll come back right away. Mm, Alright. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, boy. Hugo, I'm sorry, but I have to go. I see. You're liking the punch, Pasternak. Are you interested in the antidote? <laughs> <laughs> so... Hey, I wanted to talk to you. I want to apologize. I have been a fool. I mean, the witch. I tried to hide all this stuff from you so you wouldn't get involved on your first day. But I think it was a mistake to warn you earlier. Not to warn you earlier. <sighs> not only that, I also wanted to apologize for the way I acted earlier in the office. Uh oh. Um. Uh -oh. um... Okay. I was really, well, I was really pissed. Um, I'm not the only one who saw that, right? No, no we're not. Uh, I missed right. it. What happened? There was a guy on the left. Walked up and then looked at you and then walked away. Um, okay. The guy, the, the guy with the red mask from the title screen. Oh. Oh, oh shit. I was really pissed when I saw you get employee of the month. Sometimes I get over competitive but I really do wish you well uh what do you wish me all the best for of course I do after all we're partners cut the bullshit Hugo I know what you've been doing what do you mean croak croak <laughs> I don't understand you Pasternak Come on, please. Stop pretending already. Ever since I got here, you've been after me trying to kill me in that ridiculous costume. Which, by the way, the noise that you make with your mouth, it's more like a duck than a toad. Everybody knows it's you. And not only that, people hate you. Jesus, oh Brian. Oh, he's birthday. drunk, he's drunk, he's drunk, he's drunk. Oh, oh no. <laughs> They're all here because they're afraid of you. Nothing more than that. Maybe it would be better if drinking, don't you think? Don't tell me what to do. You have no idea who I am. Do you understand? Oh no. Oh no, no, god. I am. Oh I am. no. Sosa, no. Sosa, shut him up. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, oh thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh. God. Oh, we're still drunk. Yes. A tie. But how do you use this? <laughs> they're, they're distracted. Kate, let's go. Sure, let's go. Guys, thank you all so much, really. You have organized an extraordinary birthday party, and I feel very grateful to you. 
But deep down, I feel like I'm not the star of this party. He didn't tell us anything because he's a very shy and reserved person. But there is someone who, here who has a very special task. Which is no less than... Kill the witch. Uh. And that person, that co-worker, that friend is... Brian Pasternak! I mean, a real little bit deserve this for, like, drunk insulting him, but also we don't really deserve this for drunk insulting him. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Oh, no. Don't be shy, man. Get over here. N no, I don't. You had it pretty well hidden, didn't you? Why don't you give us a demonstration? What do you say, guys? A demonstration? Of what? Well, how you're gonna kill the witch. Come on, who wants to volunteer? What the fuck? Me. Not you, Malone. Kate. You're an important character. We're not killing <laughs> you yet. Would you like to play the witch? Me? I don't know if I'll know. You don't have to do anything, just sit here. Yeah, but... You won't force anyone here, eh? If you don't want to participate in activities with your co-workers, create, sorry, create a healthy work environment, that's fine. But... Yikes. Great, now only you left, Pasternak. I don't want to do this. Are you ashamed of yourself? Come on, man, it's my birthday. Looking forward to it. Or are you outsiders really so superstitious? <laughs> How would you kill the witch, Pasternak? With a stake or with silver bullets? No, no. I need a special knife. <laughs> How about we use one to make it look more real? But a plastic one, of course, not a real dagger. Oh no. I have a bad feeling about this. Relax, it's just a joke. Alright, Pasternak, how would you do that? You stick the knife in her heart? No, we have to cut off her head. Brian, 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 Brian. 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 Oh god. Uh oh god. Uh who wants to do this? What about all of us do our worst voice at the same time? Oh god. Sure, sounds okay. great. I found I found you. Under. <laughs> okay, that's that's pretty good actually. <laughs> great job. Uh, uh Achievement popped. She find the witch. Oh god, that oh. head's guy's head is like gushing. That's a skeleton. Hello? That is a skeleton. Oh. Hello? I don't feel very. Guys, what's going on? Wait, is that my pompous twink, the skeleton? Uh. Chapman, are you alright? Oh god. My, my suit. Look at my suit. F Father, it's, it's me, Tony. Okay, well, uh, he's experiencing visions. And the horrors. He's experiencing yep. the horrors. So sad. So sad. So, 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 so having a panic attack. Oh, no. I think oh, she's crying blood. Attack. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, fuck. Be afraid, Marta. Don't be afraid. He's a hunter. Perceive that. No, Sosa, I can't kill that thing. We've got to get out of here. Sosa, can you hear me? Oh. Uh. I have appeared before you. I am Jenna. I was Sagittarius. Love me. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, Doshi's just kind of Doshi looks fine. Doshi, are you alright? In A. In A? My, 
My name is Ine Doshi. My ears are going oh. to explode, bro. W what's going on? I think the witch is here. We have to find a way out. Haven't you tried the elevator? Mm -mm. You look so grumpy. I'm trying to, hey, like, find... Yeah, where the fuck is Kate? Kate was likely kidnapped. She was kidnapped. Oh. Did you see that? I what? saw the, a little oh, white... Th oh! White thing. What? Oh, fuck! Yeah. Oh! Oh, that hurts! That is, that is oh, hurting you. That is oh. hurting you. Uh. 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 Okay. Oh. oh. Where does this put you? Oh, thank oh, God! There's an auto save. Oh, holy oh, shit! God. Yeah. Because this, this is the point of this is this the party starts it, but this is the point of no return thing. So holy shit! It okay. makes sense for an auto save. <laughs> I figured because there was no opportunity to save any time within like, the last long. Run. All right. Wait. Wait. What's wrong Wait, with this the elevator? Brian now. Open up. Open up now. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. She controls everything. <laughs> oh my oh god. god. Brian. Oh my god, it's oh us. Oh no. What says? The whiteboard. whiteboard. Uh, <coughs> and it's in the scrawly witch handwriting too. Oh god, okay. Is... I'm beelining it to Doshi. The elevator's broken down. Could you fix it? My hands are shaking, buddy, and I don't know if I can. It's our only way out. Okay, but you're gonna have to help me. Uh, of course, with whatever it is. Meet me by the elevator. <laughs> fucking vanished. Bye. Teleported. Oh shit. Dude, I'm gonna try and hack the elevator, but I need your help. There's almost no light in here, and I'm gonna have my hands full. I need you to shine your flashlight right at me so I can see. Won't a glow stick be better? No way. All the wires are different colors. I need a white light. Take some batteries. Oh, thank God. Look at the elevator lights. When they're all on, it's working. Okay, so the white is clearly an indication, but I don't really understand how it works. Uh, I, th I think just the worse the worse it gets, the more damage you're taking. There. Yeah, I think I. Th it might be like a danger radar thing. Yeah, it, it's not just a white flash; it's like cracks in your screen. Yeah. Uh. So, basically, there is something invisible, mostly, coming after you. Mm -hmm. The white markings are, it's getting close. Okay. So should I be, like, trying to kite or something at this point, or just stay with the flashlight? Yeah, if you, if you, if you, if you need to kite, do so. Um, repair progress would be paused, but not lost, if Doshi doesn't have the flashlight on. So okay. you don't have to worry, okay. you don't have to worry about it, like, degrading. Shit. Yeah. Uh, yes, the, the thing you saw with the Ted. That is the thing. Yeah, I, oh, I shit, know yeah. that's the thing. Quiet, hmm. okay. Doshi, doshi, doshi. This is horrific, I love it. This is horrific. It's really scary. I don't That's understand good. the mechanics. Yay! Yay! Just need to keep moving. Yeah, basically. I should turn my lights Oh, on. God. There she is. Yeah, I thought sure was a guy. Oh, yeah, those things. Yeah, I was, like, wondering what those were. Oh my god, that's a worm. Yeah. I the feel worms... like I'm in Silent Hill right now. Oh the worms god, where is... Worm. Just, go, just go that way, just keep going. Nope, down, yeah. I don't understand these mechanics! 
I'm you sorry. You have to move away from where it is. I don't understand where it is. Wherever you are. It's the big wormy Just... thing. Is it's it? Oh, the, like, okay. It's, it's the big the wormy thing. Worms. It's the big wormy thing. The thing that looks like it's made of balloons. The thing with tentacles. Hmm. Not the worms, the hentai. Creatures. I mean, I, I know it's the thing with the tentacles, yeah. but I don't understand, like, how to move away from it. I feel like every time I move away from it, I end up dying I anyway. What, I, I think what keeps happening is that it she's in, like, the center of the right area, and you're trying to go around her, but you're still within the radius. I think hey, that's what keeps happening. So Just go to the opposite side of the room. Try that. So, like, go all the way to the left? Yes. Alright. Just, like, get away. And these, these smaller worms are uh, basically additional indications that she might near, be nearby. Because she herself is not always visible. It refers to it with the she in the thing, so that's why. Hmm. is just give him the flashlight and run around with the glow stick, but okay. Game said no. Well, he's going to be using both of his hands. Yeah. Just leave oh god. Oh! Uh. Yeah, sorry, the, the guide is not very thorough on exactly how to do it. The, the image that appears when you die looks like a fetus and I don't like it. I do think you had the right idea that last time of like getting her all the way over. Before. Yeah, that gave me a, a good. Do we know how long he takes with the elevator? It took about five seconds for the first light, so if they're all the same, then it would be about. well. 25 30 seconds. It doesn't give a time indicator. That'll probably buy you at least another hit. We're approaching. Yeah, you need yeah, to get going. Yeah, she's probably close, yeah. Is this- Oh, see if you can take a slice of cake. It, it does- Two sandwiches. Oh, sandwich. That also works. Okay, hey, that's cool. food. Uh, check that's the presents, there's- Check the presents, there's candy bars in there. Oh god. Oh, shit, never mind, she's right there. Go, go, go. With, with health as a commodity, I'm willing to tell you that, that there's candy bars in the presents. Yeah, no, I appreciate that much, Lee. Yeah. He gave you three batteries to ensure you'll make it through the sequence, probably. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I don't think you have to worry too much about it. Flashlight. Okay, I see a okay. worm. That means she's probably getting close. Yeah. Oh, make your left probably now before it gets too close. Okay, yeah. You. They. They themselves can't hurt you. Oh, oh, no, oh shit! I guess she's there. Oh, she had the ear buns and everything. Okay. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm hmm. 
I don't know if she's actually following you over here. She's supposed to. There she goes. Oh, I can push the worms. Okay, uh, markings. Yeah, shit. Where the Sh fuck? There. God, Malone's turned into one of them. And that one's probably Sosa. Shit, you're right, yeah. Four. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> Shit. Can I, can I get out? Oh my god, Jesus oh. is right there. Oh, you got him. Yay. Is it just the two? Yes, just two candy bars. Alright. This is nightmarish. What a sequence. Imagine actually playing it. I want to. No, this game is seriously really good. I recommend it. I think she's still down in that corner. Yeah. Yeah, she's. Well, I'm trying. Top. I'm trying to get her to chase me over this way. Yeah, it's not very clear exactly how she works. <laughs> yeah. No, it really, really isn't. <laughs> okay, I see ah, her. There she is. Oh, fuck. The worms are in my way. This That's is fine. That's the way you can push them. Yeah, keep the coffee. Yeah, I don't want to overheal. You also you might need it later. <laughs> shit. But shit. I don't understand what her radius is. Her her radius and pathing are confusing. Do, I don't understand her pathing either, that's true. Where? That's not fair. I don't think I'm going to make it this time, but I might make it next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a fetus. You got, like, over halfway. You did. And now, and now you know where the, um, the food is to grab. I would say grab it before you do the elevator, just to... Like, grab I it now. I think she gets triggered once you talk to Dochi. Exactly, so if you grab the candy bars now... Candy bars and cheese sandwich. Yeah. Candy bars? Cheese sa One cheese sandwich? It was only one. Oh, it's I thought it was bars, two. Okay. Cheese sandwich. Oh, what? Would you guys still love me if I was a worm? Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the only one who's honest. Wow, thanks Cap, really good for my self esteem. You're saying I'm not honest? Oh, right, I should heal. Yum. Yum. I'm trying to, like, hang oh, out in no corners shoes. so that I can actually get around her when she comes after me. Come on. Come after me. You know you want to. If only Tiki Taki was here. I miss Tiki Taka. I miss Tiki Taka. Tiki Taka is unfortunately dead. I'm so sorry, guys. Really? Tiki Taka, best character. I have to agree with that one, actually. Robot good. Okay. Oh, 
Yep, there she comes. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting the hang of this now. I think it is just basically figure it out on the go. Come on, you know you want me. I'm so delicious here on the left side of the room. You want some <laughs> roasted parsnip, baby? I just realized oh. the offer is wiggling. <laughs> hey guys, guess what? Huh? There's another ad break. No! Oh Mother of God. God! I am going to go see what the fuck is up after this, because... I think you something has gone so horribly wrong. Money. I don't think I'm making shit. Where is she? She's gonna go. Oh, fuck. Eat, she's, eat. Down. she's in front of your face. Yeah, I see her. Push the wand down, yeah. Go. This sucks. Baba Loon. He is so picky. You should be able to take a slice of cake, that's rude. It's so rude. It is rude. I don't think it programmed cake Shit. as a Shit, where? Had. Yeah, but it should be. I don't- I think the, the whole thing is that you shouldn't stay still for too long. Okay, but like, if I go back there... If I go back there too soon, then she comes after me there. I guess I can like, patrol over here or something. <laughs> See, Kari says it's the witch. The witch causes ad breaks. Real. <laughs> No, it's the clown- it's the clown wallpaper. There she is! God, let me through! Out in the mouth. Please? See, Kari says Rupert causes ad breaks. Oh god, Rupert. I can't believe Rupert is here. Rupert. Probably one more cycle if you can survive it. You may be asking, who is Rupert? And the answer is, Rupert is the clown I who lives in the walls. Yeah, that's who of I meant course. by the clown wallpaper. Can you See, I remember the know? worm things from one of the Video Club Mysterio things, I think. Yeah. But yeah, no, um, when I was living with Siebes, uh, there was wallpaper in my room. Just let me through, let me through, let me through, I hate you. Shit. Shit! Um, and the wallpaper in my room was torn away in one part, and the wallpaper under that was torn away. Uh, a little bit. And underneath that was a third layer of wallpaper that was clowns. It was clowns. Amazing. Huh. Please, stick please. With it, stick with it, stick with it. Mate, yeah, go, this go, should go. be automatic. Yes. Go, Thank god, okay. Okay, there we go. This is as far as I can get the doors open, man. I think we can sneak in. Come on, let's go. You go, buddy. If I let go of the panel, the doors will close again. Doshi! What about everyone else? We, we all have to leave. Take this. The worms. If I can't make it, burn it all. Destroy it. Just de destroy what? There's no time. My, my head. Oh god. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Oh, and shit. the floor level is dead. Okay. I can still, like, select a floor. 
Just a light one, I guess. Uh, by the way, watch the floor. Watch the floor? Okay. Yeah, the exit out of the... You'll see. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh watch out! <laughs> watch the floor. Are we going somewhere? The, f the lift elevator is moving, yeah. I hate it when the bottom of the elevator opens up like a raw wound. It stops me. And then makes me reveal my darkest secrets by two oh. oh god! Oh, you're going back down. Huh? Hello? Hello? Uh... Vaughn, do you want to take him? Grab my arm! Hold this rope and close your eyes. Uh... Oh. What was that noise? Hello? Can can I open my eyes now? I'm running out of strength. <laughs> Take it easy, Brian. You can do this. All you have to do is... What's that thing climbing up here? Uh, well, there's a ladder. I, I, I need to get out of here as soon as possible. Try left, right. I could try left, right. I'm so small. Please... Yes. Oh, thank God. It's closed. I won't be able to open it barehanded. Please, 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 please. Oh, uh, shit, 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 shit. Uh, I have a bunch of batteries. This is fine. This is fine. Mm -hmm. Though she was, though she was nice and gave you a whole fuck ton. Oh, hello. Follow me, Mr. Pasternak. Your evaluation is about to begin. Okay, what? <laughs> Hurry up, please. She's on our tail. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. you're going too fast. Uh... Have you seen what's after us? Of course I'm going fast. Why is he still carrying his briefcase? That's what I want to know. <laughs> oh god, oh god. Uh... Generally east. That's all it says. Generally east, okay. Oh. Not that oh, east. that's something. Not this east. I'm doing my best. Well, that is this east. Oh god! Ha 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 It doesn't... I don't know if those things can hurt you. I don't they... want to test it. Oh god! Oh. Yeah, oh my god! Nope, nope go. Two cups water. of water Excellent. in the briefcase. Beautiful. Two <laughs> cups of water. Oh, hello. It's, 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 it's there. The, the witch, it's... Take it easy, Mr. Passenger. You're safe here. This office doesn't belong to the company. We're well, actually in another building. Excuse my manners, I haven't introduced myself properly. My name is Marshall. It's a pleasure to meet you personally. M my name is Pep Pep Pep. We know your name, Mr. Pepsonite. We've been watching you since you arrived this morning. You probably won't remember, but I personally gave you your first witch paper in the elevator after you signed your contract. But. Who are you people? What is this place? May I present my companions? Yes! We're all part of the USSR. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. USSR! <laughs> okay. United Sindracorp Syndicate Revolutionaries. Of course. Are you a union? Of course. 
That's right, we are. <laughs> yes! Yeah! Support yes. the SAG AFTRA and WGA strikes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We are the yeah. Works Council, and we are here to defend your rights against the oligarchic oppression of this unfeeling mega corporation. Oh, thank God. Th thank you. We know perfectly well the hell that you have faced, and many others like you have to deal with on a daily basis, Mr. Pasternak. That is why we want you to share your heavy burden with us, and through these meetings, we can gather the necessary strength for the task at hand. About time somebody gave me a hand. After this presentation, and if you feel it appropriate, we will proceed with the performance evaluation of your first day at the company. Oh, okay. If you don't mind, I'll stay down here. My stomach's a little upset. Tell me, Mr. Pasternak, from one to five, how would you describe the accessibility of the company's occupational health and safety measures? Uh, <laughs> Zero! <laughs> uh, huh. Uh, from one to five, what do you think of the condition of the appliances in the company's canteen? They're Actually, fine. They're, they're awful. They've been alright. Yeah. I'll give them like a three. three stars. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. The next question is key. What level of cleanliness and hygiene have you found in the toilets and or bathrooms of your office building? Hard I mean, What's this all about? Yeah. How are you going to help me at all? Uh, oh, damn it. I sincerely apologize, Mr. Pasternak. We are well aware that this form is in urgent need of renewal. But who cares about that form? The whole company's a mess and people are dying down there. Is there nothing you can do to end the witch? We hope to be able to be of much more help from tomorrow with the incorporation of the new general manager. General manager? You mean a boss? Indeed. Without bosses, we could not oppose or negotiate with anyone. I oh guess that's Actually, technically true. But if all goes according to plan, Central Corp will have a CEO again by midnight tonight. So who's it going to be? Your partner, Mr. What? Hugh. What? No. Oh, God. But, but how is that possible? Who decides these things? It's an automatic system described in the company's statutes. According to these statutes, the CEO will be replaced in the event of unjustified absence after 12 months. His successor will become the next employee with the most seniority. That's Hugo. This, <laughs> this system has been jumping from missing worker to missing worker for over a decade, and today it's reached the next in line, which is none other than Mr. Hugo. What? Is no. That how... Okay, I need to. I need. I need to process. I mean, probably all of Hugo's predecessors went missing. He's the one who's been exactly. at the company the longest. This just says nothing about how many people have come after him. Uh, so I need to process this for a sec, and while I'm processing this, I want to finish talking about Rupert. So R Rupert is the clown in the wallpaper, under the wallpaper, under the wallpaper. And um, the part of the wallpaper that was torn away to expose him was, like, right by my bed. So I slept in a room right next to Rupert the Clown for a year or two. I don't remember exactly how long I was in that room. Uh, anyway, I was talking about him on one of my Resident Evil streams, uh, and I pulled up a picture of him to show chat. And when I removed the picture, the whole stream turned blue. Oh. And no one told me this. So, like, I was ending the stream and Sikari was like, I think it's really fascinating how our blood turned blue to, like, signify that we're becoming less human. And I said, hang on, what? And I looked at the st I looked at the VOD, and from the moment I took Rupert off the string, uh, the the stream was tinted blue. Oh my god! And like I closed OBS and reopened it, and it, it was like the the blue thing didn't happen again, and I still don't know how it happened. So yeah, uh, that's the the curse of Rupert. Awesome. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. 
See, see, Kari says, I, I thought it was a thing, an intentional thing that Resident Evil was doing. But yeah, no, that's that's the deal with Rupert. And when people bring up Rupert, they're, that's, that's the, that's, they're talking about this clown and, and this curse. Yeah. Mouse is okay. insisting that Rupert is only a boon. Mouse, you just say this because you have a blue clown. So, um, I, uh, I know that there's a high chance that Hugo might be appearing soon. But is it okay if I disappear and and become a, a viewer because I am no absolutely take off. care of yourself first. We will hand them Local to the universal COVID understudy. Full of COVID. Thanks. Yeah, go so go 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 take care understudy. of yourself. Go go rest. Go rest. You're good. Go rest. We All should right. be done Bye, soon. Everyone. Sub subscribe to Knife Moth, Thank or I you. will go to your house with a knife <laughs> and a moth. Oh, and will not have a moth. <laughs> I mean, there is a safe point right there. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, like, this right right after this conversation, as soon as they let me, I'm going to save, because I think I have one piece of witch paper. Um, and yeah. also, I think they might give me a piece of witch paper. It, it's feeling that way. Um, uh, like, we reached two hours about when the witch killing started, but I was so hyper-focused on getting through it that I didn't, like, realize until I was already committed. Um, so no, we are not. getting through this. We're doing a slightly long stream today. Uh, okay. I have processed this. We're good. Stream. It's this what? This is still a short stream. This is still a very Fuck short off. stream. Fuck off! I'm inviting you. Oh my goodness. You're built this... different, Cap. Yeah, you are built yeah. different. This must be avoided good. at all costs. Can't you guys do anything? Uh, um, I'm sorry. Are you telling me that there's no one with more seniority than Hugo? What about that blonde guy from the ninth floor? Doesn't he have a higher rank in the company? The few that were still alive were at Hugo's birthday party, and Mr. Spader is not on the staff. He's a subcontracted worker. Oh. Goddamn contractors. Please, there has to be someone else. To tell you the truth, there is an exception to the rule, but today it is unfeasible. These statutes were created in the early years of the company, and the text marks a special inheritance right of the Sintra family. That is, a member of, if a member of the above-mentioned family were to appear, they could claim the post immediately. But that's impossible because they're all dead. I don't think they're all dead. Ray Sintra. Oh? I, I I gotta get out of here. I have to get back to my office. But Mr. Pastamac, the working day is over. I have to go. Oh. I have to go back. Oh, new, new sprite. New sprite. Uh oh. Ew. He got Ew, too and drunk. You out in it. Ew. Mr. Marshall, aren't you gonna do anything? At least get his face out of there. Huh. My head hurts so much. I- I'm in my office, aren't I? I guess it was all a bad dream. I'll work for a while and... Oh no, a parsnip. A parsnip? Is this another one of Hugo's pranks? He even left me this plastic knife. No, Brian. no, 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 no. What's the matter, Brian? Sintra, help me, please. Why don't you use the dagger? Oh. Uh, achievement, back to work, go back to your office after the party. Mm, my head. Am I in my office again? Hang on, what's this real quick? The USSR team thanks you for your evaluation. Welcome to Central Court. I got a sheet of witch paper, I told you. Alright. Hell yeah. God. Time to save! Oh my god, we're done! I mean, we're not done, but we're done for today. That was scary.
Are you doing what okay? Is everyone doing okay? I'm I am fantastic. awesome. Yeah. After this, I'm gonna go on a walk with my parents to see some birds. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let me let me go see quick if anyone else is live. Um, I will send out a when to meet post haste. Everyone hydrate or dihydrate. Um, I'm not seeing anyone live, so I'm just going to end. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Afida's in.